never been one to hold back his feelings. And why should he? His number three ranked Sooners, led by senior guard Skeeter Henry, continue to keep the scorekeeper busy. Henry, along with backboard mate Perry Evans, are just two of six Sooners who average in double figures. And with Tony Martin inside, there's no escaping the Sooner surge. But Kansas State's Lon Kruger knows his Wildcats can be fierce as well. The on-court leadership of Steve Henson and his unselfish play have made a score out of six-foot-ten-inch John Rediger. The race for the Big A crown has begun. In game two, Vanderbilt head coach Eddie Fogler has his Commodores racing for the top of the Southeastern Conference with wins in eight of their last nine games. Scott Brown, back from a redshirt season, has teamed with four leader Derek Wilcox to give Vandy one of the top backboards in the nation. The twin towers of Stanley Roberts and Shaquille O'Neal has created a world of excitement in Baton Rouge. However, Dale Brown knows the success of his squad lies in the hands of sophomore sensation Chris Jackson, if the Tigers plan to keep in the hunt for the SEC crown. Welcome to the heartland of Kansas. We're in Manhattan, the home of the Wildcats. It's K-State against undefeated number three, Oklahoma. <laughs> Students back in class here today and they are ready for this one. I'm Bob Carpenter. Welcome to college basketball on ESPN. And yes, Oklahoma is 12-0 and and undefeated and number three, but it's still very early in the Big 8 race for the Sooners and the Wildcats. Oklahoma with a win at Colorado, K-State with a loss at Colorado on Saturday. Dan Bonner joins me, the Cats are on the floor, and Dan, yeah, they're 12-0, and but it is still very early, and Oklahoma has a lot of work remaining. They sure do, Bob. Every away arena in this league is a minefield just waiting to blow up in the face of one of those top three teams. This is going to be a very difficult game for the Sooners tonight. Meanwhile, you folks around the nation know all about this style of Billy Tubbs, but Oklahoma even dangerous when standing still at the free throw line with the clock not running. Of course, Oklahoma's never really standing still, Bob. They specialize in the turnover right there leading to the easy basket. They force almost 30 opponent, opponent turnovers a game, and Kansas State has to avoid that at all costs. Rod Kruger knows his team cannot run with Oklahoma here tonight. So what does he do? Well, he gives the ball to his All-American guard, Steve Henson, and tells him not to give it back to the Oklahoma Sooners. Henson has done just that without a turnover over his last three ball games. We asked him how important it is to take care of the ball against the Sooners. Well, it's very important that you handle the ball well against Oklahoma. In the last few games, we've been doing a better job of handling it, but we also haven't been playing against the kind of pressure that they're going to apply. So that's one of the big keys for us, to take care of the ball and make sure we get a good shot every time. Tonight, all 600 residents of Strong City, Kansas, are standing at attention for their big man on the floor for the Wildcats. John Rodiger for the Kansas State Wildcats has really come on the last couple games, averaging almost seven rebounds a contest over the last three games. Rebounding, in addition to holding on to the ball, is going to be important tonight. Oklahoma over 100 points nine times this year. No team has ever scored 100 here in the city of Manhattan. Should be a great one at K-State tonight, John Saunders. Bob and Dan, the Oklahoma Sooners are also one of only three undefeated teams remaining. The Georgetown Hoyas, they're ranked number three. Number two, rather, and number one, Kansas, are the other two. So one, two, and three, all still undefeated. This is the first of two games tonight here on ESPN. We will move later to another game, but first let us show you some scores. St. John's leads Villanova 18-15. to St. John's ranked 15 in the nation. St. Joseph's already over, over Penn, 77-69 to is that final, as Marlon Miller chipped in with 19. Now let us tell you our next game will be in this doubleheader. Vanderbilt against number 13, LSU. At halftime, we'll have scores and features on the Robinson, Mullen, and Bird Brothers. So keep it right here. Plenty more college basketball ahead here on ESPN. It's a doubleheader tonight. <laughs> 